Okie dokie. We are live. Hopefully the sound is okay. I've been uh, messing with the sound for like an hour now. You know how it is. Trying to get my stream on. <laughs> Memorial Day is coming up, so that's exciting. So today, we're going to start with some Burt's Bees. <laughs> but after that, you know, we're going to get trucking, man. I got some mad trucking to do. I'm we got uh I got some mods. I got some mods in the game. We got I think is uh, better headlights, realistic roads. The graphics mod isn't updated yet, so that's not on. Um we we have new truck sounds, new road sounds, and oh there's accessories for the cabin as well. So that's that's what's been going on here. Uh, I think we're going to head over to a uh, a shop or something and try out some of these new accessories. Hopefully that mod works. <laughs> I don't know. I tested a couple of them, so they all seem to work so far. Uh, the first truck sound mod I, I got didn't work, but now we're here, and the second one does work. So we got that going for us. So let's just let's hop over to the game. Let's Let's cut the chat. You know, boom, that's the game. That's the audio for the game. Hopefully everything sounds okay. Um, I've been looking into some of the shifters, finally. Like, I know they exist. I just haven't um, purchased any of them, which was, it was exciting. But at least I know they exist now, right? Uh, I gotta check the stream on my old phone all the Okay. okay. Sweet. So yeah, this this the stream was looking looking pimptastic. Let me know if the audio's fucked up or anything. Uh, I'm trying to trying to keep it nice, trying to make my audio more preem. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully everything comes through. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's a. Uh, okay, I know this because I was uh, you know I was trucking around a little bit. There you go. That's a little too loud. Cut that down to there. Okay, I was trucking around a little bit beforehand. I did. I reverted everything I, I was doing, but there's a uh, a Peterbilt <laughs> um, dealership nearby. So uh, we're gonna go to the Peter Peterbilt dealership. So there we go. And then we're gonna try out some of the accessories because I'm excited about that. Oh, that's. That's what we do. <laughs> Man, I need. I really do need to get that shifter because it'll make uh, shifting more realistic. Oh yeah, one of the other things we got was uh, longer yellow lights. I guess yellow lights are a, a common problem. Oh, and I have um, I have automatic Jake brake on uh, because you know sometimes you need automatic Jake brake. See that yellow light wasn't crazy long. I've been. I've been dipping through some yellow lights in real life recently, uh, and it's it's been sketchy. Some of the yellow lights I've been going through, <laughs> but you know that, that's life. You dip through some yellow lights here and there occasionally. I should probably keep my brake on. It would be nice. You know, oh, it's green for grandmother. There we go. Yeah, so, like, the gears that I'm using, I shouldn't be using them in this order. It's supposed to be significantly different, I guess, to do what we're doing here. But also, we're tired, and we can sleep at this dealership, by the way, too. So hopefully we should be able to see better at night with the better headlights mod. I also turned up the brightness a tiny bit. I don't know if that affects screen capture at all. Uh, so we're just gonna hope that it does. Oh, oh man, we just fucking money shifted. Which is funny, because I hit the button to not money shift, but, you know, as you do sometimes. So that's, that's been, I don't even know. This is a, that, that was a weird string of words I, I just said. We're, we're streaming, guys. <laughs> So I, uh, you know, as a first, I do actually have the videos this week, like, 
lined up and ready to go. Like the, I, I mean, they're not ready to go. I, they need to be edited, but they're they're like recorded. So like the shit's there. I don't. Ha- I shouldn't have to. Uh, it shouldn't. It should, like it should come out on time actually, which is cool. I'm pretty good at not having stuff come out on time, which is pretty much the usual these days. Like, oh, there's a skate park over there. Whoa, hey, howdy, check that out. Dang, that's pretty sick. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, the realistic roads look pretty nice. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think the realistic roads, it, it just, it's only the roads, it's not like the lights or anything, but it should clean up some of this stuff. Truck door closed. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, we're gonna have to go and, and figure that out then. <laughs> now we're just reversing nice and pretty. There we go. My chair was moving right there. That was really weird. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, at some point, the goal is to, um, get, you know, one of the, the truck shifters. I got a final one that, like, works nice, and I'll just stick it on this, uh, TH8A shifter, and I'll end up, I'll probably end up buying a, a Fanatec shifter, and just main, main the Fanatec shifter. Here we go, truck configurator. All right, so we want to see if we can maybe see what the, uh, the deal is with some of these accessories we now have access to. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is, this is some stuff. This is definitely some stuff. Don't know what any of that stuff is or what it does. Oh, we can put Coke cans on? That's pretty fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna put that on though. I remove, remove this. Okay, we'll have to remove it in the order. <laughs> Uh, water bottle, Red Bull, we can put cigarettes. Okay, a mug for American Truck Simulator women. That's pretty good. That's a weird spot for a mug though, don't you think? Oh yes, dude, we can put Christmas trees on. I mean, not, you know, the smelly trees. Man, I'm a bit, so in real life, I'm a sucker for the leather smelly tree. It's It smells basically the same as black ice, to be honest, but it just, it looks more prestigious. Prestigious, prestigious. We're just, I think we're gonna, gonna go with the, the classic right there. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, I like the darker one. That's funny that you can just stick that in there. Oh, driver's plate. We're, we're good up there. We got that. We're chilling. What's this? What can I put here? Ooh, I can put a Tom Tom trucker up. Nope, I don't want that. How do I? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. That's how. Duh. I can just delete it. I don't want that there, though. That's just gonna make my life worse. Also, I have up the uh, resolution on the game finally, so that's. You know, it's exciting. <laughs> Let's clear that up. There you go. Mirrors, I don't care at all about the mirrors, man. I should be able to move the camera around in here. Yes, there we go. We can stick some cuffs in here. Cup holder. Yep. And stick some Coke. Some mugs. Ooh, I like this metal mug. It's pretty cool. Darth Vader, Stormtrooper. The, I don't know about you guys, but these kind of mugs slightly upset me they're they're not I don't, it's weird i don't know why but like the mugs with all the, the logos on them feels like i'm i'm shilling for something like like i've been bought out like if, if you buy a mug with a starbucks logo on it that's i feel like that's pretty fucked up right uh star wars is cool because it's like a, a creative property but starbucks is like a coffee shop you know but then maybe that's kind of cool i thought about buying a pizza hut light in a, a Pizza Hut shirt, because I like Pizza Hut. Maybe it's the same kind of, same kind of vibe. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know. Well, we're getting the metal mug though, so that's the end result. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell else to do. Um, this is more garbage. Uh, more Coke cans and cigarettes. 
crowns. Oh. They're supposed to be fresheners? We can put picture frames? Can we put pictures in the frames, or...? That's weird. Hold on. I want to see. Boy, what else can we do? Uh, Star... We can put Star Wars lightsabers. We can just stick the fucking Skywalker family they put. Where's it at? I don't even see it. Oh, that's kind of sad. We can, put, we can put a phone. I don't... I straight up don't see them. I don't even see the, the stuff we're supposed to be diddling right there. What else, man? Oh, we can put little little holocrons and a lot of Star Wars stuff. I think I think we need less Star Wars stuff. I thought this was the Quran for a second. I was like, what? You could just put the Quran on your truck. <laughs> a keychain. But I have my keys to power the, the truck. I can put a DeLorean. I don't see the DeLorean still. That's kind of sad. Can we hang it from here then? Plum Bob. That's, hmm. I don't know if that's PG for, for YouTube. I don't, I don't know if that's PG. Skyrim Dragon's a pretty cool idea. Angry Birds is the worst. Why would I put Angry Birds? Fuzzy Die, I'm, I'm a big proponent of Fuzzy Die. Um, actually, I don't use them in my GTI because I think it kind of ruins the vibe, but I might put some black ones in in the future actually. So I just got to find the right ones. I think I could be vibing with some Fuzzy Die again. That's a, that'll probably happen when I put the exhaust on. I feel like fuzzy dye and the exhaust would go together pretty well. <laughs> uh, like, that's pretty sick. I, I, I like that. Um, but yeah, when I got my first car, the PT Cruiser, I had fuzzy dye. I had a lot of, actually, there's some of them are floating around here. Uh, actually, there's none in this room right now. That's actually kind of strange. There's usually a shit ton in this room. We can survive with that. There's some Game of Thrones stuff. Game of Thrones was good, except... Yeah, I mean, you guys know I'm about to say. The last season is terrible. Spider-Man. That's pretty sick. We can put a dash cam. Oh, that's pretty fucking dope. That's... I mean, it's... It's backwards. But that's still dope. A Batarang. Ooh, a, mag a Magneto Inductive Company. CB radio? Okay. C CB, CB radio. Okay, I see. I see, I see. I see, I see. Hmm, I kind of like the idea of there being a CB radio up there. What do you guys think about that? That's not, uh, that's kind of boring though, right? Maybe I should put something that's not boring up there. A roof fan? Oh, so I can pretend I'm really hot? Not really hot right now. Maybe we'll upgrade to a fan later. I think let's go for the, the black fuzzy dice. Because that's just really... I mean, that's really where I need to be right now. That's just license plate stuff. Steering wheel. Yeah, we've customized our steering wheel pretty, pretty nice. I don't know if some of these are mods. Oh, I guess they are. The ones that have this logo next to them are, are mods. So I guess that makes sense. What can I put down here? Oh, that's some more garbage. Okay, well... Uh, what about the floor mats? Oh, I can put stuff on the floor like a pizza. It says Pizza Hut on the pizza, guys. I was just talking about Pizza Hut. Oh, that's... Dang, I might put a pizza down there. I might just put a pizza a pizza down there. Ooh, a duffel bag? Like we're about to go rob and payday. It's pretty legit. FedEx boxes, like I'm delivering some, some mail. A snack pile sounds pretty Oh my god, dude. Doritos, Lay's, Toblerones. Oh yeah, in this mod, we can put people in the seat next to us as well. Um, I'll have to think about that. Some safety stuff, toolbox, Christmas stuff. I can put Rex, the dog. Uh, Tech Ear, the cat. Tech Ear, asleep. Okay. That's pretty fun. A Notebook Pro. Okay. All right, that's a lot more notebook pros than I think you needed to be putting here. Um, a Gibson <laughs> Les Paul's guitar. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would anyone put a guitar next to them? Is it? Oh, you're not gonna let me put a Strat? Oh my God! What a what a freaking goober, dude. If you gotta put a Gibson Les Paul, at least put a fucking Strat. Can I rotate the? Can I rotate it? Is it rotatable? Rotatable. 
Um, man, I just, I just want it to be rotatable, you know? If I click on this, does it rotate? No, okay. I, mean, I, mean, I might put the cat, that sounds pretty exciting. Cause I have my real cat next to me when I stream. Well, not right now, but usually. A map? Oh, a garbage can. That's kind of weird. I like. I think I like the snack pile or the. I, I wish the Pizza Hut box was. I mean, at some point, I feel like the Pizza Hut box will be implemented. If we get another truck, maybe we'll just make a trash truck where it's just filled with trash. All right, let's look at the people that we can stick here next to us. I could put pizza on the seat. Maybe that makes a little bit more sense to put pizza right there. Hmm. We'll think about that one. Um, we're supposed to be able to put people now. So that's going to be fucked up, I think. Pokemon, lots of teddy bear. A leather briefcase. That looks pretty slick. I feel like I'm getting excited for like such garbage. <laughs> it's so funny. Here we go. Uh, we can put uh, this... This lady, she's reading a book called Nut Tuck. I don't, I don't like that. That's scary. Ben Kenobi. That's, hmm, he's stepping on my snacks. I don't know. C-3PO. Oh, I love him. Oh, something about that disturbs me to my very, very core. Oh my goodness, dude. If I look over and I see C-3PO staring at me, I think I'm going to shit my pants every day. Ellis, uh, yeah, you're not from this game. Okay, you're not from this game, and I don't want to know what game you're from. Darth Vader, he's slightly staring at me. That's, that's scary too, I think. I think that's too scary for me. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, that looks nothing like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> that looks like some guy named Dave from down the road. <laughs> Wait, why is there two Melissas? There's a Melissa one. Okay, this is where the truckers get horny dude this is if you ever see me riding with this i'm horny on main dude this is, that, that's that's oh she's just dark, looks better she's darker and she has more modest clothes I, I i i guess by modest she has she has stockings on and just general generally her colors are different ozan i don't like ozan we can put rex here ray Mm, that mm, that doesn't look like Daisy at all. Uh, uh, tech ear again. Tech ear sleep. I'm a big fan of tech ear. That's just so cool. You can just have a whole cat. I think we're gonna probably go with the cat. Um, cause that there is a chair next to me, and that is where where more my cat would normally be sleeping. So we got that going for us. Uh, you know what? We're we're keeping it. We're running with it. I want to see what the fuck this is. Standard and exclusive. I think we're gonna. We're gonna leave, leave that. Anything else I can stick? Oh, here we go. Oh, another mirror. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use that ever. Um, um, we're just we're just bobbing our heads around the truck, just trying to figure out where, where we can go, what we can do. Is there like some? Is there like a free cam in this mode? Can I? Can I? What's that? Can't list that anywhere. Huh. Okay. I'm, I'm disappointed about this area. This area is a little upset. If there's Nuck Tuck. Oh, I can kind of see Nuck Tuck up there. It's not. It's not very visible, you know? Oh, maybe it's for like the outside, like if you're looking in tissue. I'd be jacking off in the truck occasionally, you know. Nutella, that's pretty cool. Um, hmm, maybe we, ooh, axe deodorant could be pretty sick. Just like, yeah, yeah, I get stinky sometimes. Like, I, I know it. I, mean, I, I feel like, I feel like I should be able to rotate it, right? If it looking like that. I just don't know how to make that happen. Yeah, I've pressed every button I could think of. I could put a crown up there. Well, that's... I feel like that... Like, if it's supposed to be a freshener... Mm, this is a pretty fresh truck. Rubik's Cube is pretty sick. 
Oh, maybe, um, wasn't there a DeLorean? I can put, oh, I can put a TARDIS? Ooh, a coffee maker's kind of fucked up. But I kind of like that vibe. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we should just go with the fan. Is this boring yet? I hope it is. Um, a tractor? Man, you can't really see it. You can't really see the DeLorean. Kind of sad, to be honest. a gold duck. That's pretty fucked up, actually. I don't... I don't want that there. Ooh, a Galaxy S2. For why? Yeah, see, this is really making me think that I should be able to rotate stuff. Or maybe this truck is just not built for this mod. I don't know. A compass could be nice there. Uh, not that I would use it, but it would just be nice to have there. Um... I think we're just gonna, oh man, I feel like I should really be able to rotate stuff. I feel like I'm missing something. And there's a, a, a piece of my brain that's not, not locked in. No, we'll just put nothing there. You know, I'll just put nothing. What, emoji pillow? That's fucked up. Mm, that's, what does it mean customizable, guys? Telepass devices? That's a lot of shit. I'm gonna say no to that one. Okay. I think that's... That's really all she wrote. To be honest. Yeah. That's all That's all she wrote. We don't want to do anything else. Okay. Well, we bought some chips for... $90 for a bag? Of, for some, some snacks? And hot... Uh, Hanuda is not even like a thing you can get here? Uh, those chips aren't even... And those Doritos are... Okay, well, whatever, I guess, right? Wait, what's this? Whoa, I can change the, um... Shift knob. But I, I don't... Oh, no, oh, it's like the little ball. The, these are actually illegal in the States, though. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go... We're gonna go with no on those, then. That's illegal. That's illegal, guys. Okay. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we we're locked and loaded. I do want to click this though. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we. It, it's it's a it's customized enough, you know, to where I think we're good. Let's go take a a quick a quick sleeperini. Um, this is not at all what I thought was gonna be the state of our trucking right now. Damn, I'm going like five miles an hour and I'm already fifth gear, dude. Ay 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 dude. I caramba. Oh I love it, dude. The fuzzy dice physics are perfect. Let's go to sleep. You are getting some rest. I wish that's how it worked in real life. You just saw like a screen for two seconds and I was like, hey, you're going to sleep. Okay, well let's go find a job. In the job market. In the, the open market. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to figure out what the fuck else to do in this game other than truck. I mean, trucking's fun. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm sure there's other stuff that we could actually do. Uh, well, we don't want to do that. Clothes? That's. I don't. I don't know if I want to go that deep into California. Maybe we go to Los Angeles and see if we can pick up a garage there. I feel like I have enough money for another garage. Yeah, let's, let's go deliver some curtains. Let's just go do it. Let's go make it happen. But yeah, I think I said I put the auto jake brake on. Uh, let's most, go. Oh. I guess I also put the uh, GPS voice on. <laughs> uh, auto jake brake, I don't I don't really know how the jake brake works. Um, I have an uncle, and his name is actually Jake Brake, which is fucking hilarious. Um, but you know. Okay, and um, basically, I have to go uh, figure out what the fuck. I know that thing's there, I'm just running over it because I hate it. But I have to go figure out. I, I, have, I have to figure out what the Jake Brick does 
Uh, and if the game's, if I saw the option for auto jake break, and if that makes my trucking experience better, we might as well auto jake break, right? I don't know why you jake break over a normal break, but I'm I'm ready to learn. Just not today. Uh, the game's gonna do it automatically for us. Whoops. Okay, everybody, let's get the tent. There we go. Let's turn some lights on. Boom. Now we can see what the fuck we're doing. Get ready. Apparently people on the, um, the forums were like, yeah, uh, I just used my brights because it's the brights are just better. Because <laughs> it just, the, the normal game sucks so bad. And there's supposed to be like a night mode setting that some people are interacting with here. And I can't say that I uh, have ever seen that setting. I'm slipping the clutch right there. That's pretty legit that you can slip the clutch in the game. Truck sounds a lot nicer, I will say. Uh, that's it's, it's definitely much better sounding. Hope you guys can hear it all right. So the yellow lights should also be a little bit easier. We're gonna try it in seventh because I think we can get away in seventh. Damn, that's like insane. If I had did like if I tried to start my car in sixth gear, uh, I don't. I yeah, I don't. That's, that wouldn't be a thing. Like, that's not something I can do. I gotta get a, uh, a stream deck for this so I can, like, roll down my windows on the fly and stuff. At least that's the dream. Yeah, I really I really did go to the wrong way into there, but that's okay. I, I think there's also a Top Gear GPS you can get and some other, like, GPS mods, but... Right now, I'm, d I'm just dipping my toes in the modding water. It's like when you go in Skyrim and you're like, Damn, dude, I really wish I could just date uh Serena and just marry her so that's like the first mod you do i feel like that's everyone's first mod <laughs> or or your first mod is like damn dude i really just i just want to kill children i just hate they are all children and you just install killable children okay here we go which bethesda is also a g uh because from what what i've heard uh, from the the modding community is that Bethesda just put a tag on them for being killable and then like even wrote code For like what would happen if they died, but they just didn't put the killable children option in the game <laughs> From what I've heard that may be incorrect. It's been a long time since I've uh, interacted with Skyrim mods, so Yeah, okay, we're gonna reverse nice and proper I found this youtuber. That's a trucker and, and he's he did like a video backing up and I was like man I gotta subscribe to this guy he's got like a mullet he's pretty hip he's pretty hype actually he doesn't have a mullet he just has long beautiful flowing brown hair and he drives this nice vintage looking truck so I'm kind of vibing with him uh, I I've, I haven't watched a whole lot of his videos but I just knew by looking at him that I just needed to be subscribed so at some point uh, I'll, I'll inform you guys <laughs> what the result of that is. Or maybe I won't. You know, you never know. I don't remember what his name is. Drive so. safe. Okay, so now we're gonna... Now we're gonna get going. We're going to the final... The final countdown here. It's gonna be, uh... It'll, it'll be nice if I ever pick up one of the shifters. But that's... I, I feel like I should prior... Because they're kind of expensive. They're like a hundred bucks. Which... You know, it makes sense. They do buy real shifters and, and modify them. So it's not like, you know, not like I don't understand it, but. It's just, um, I should, I want to prioritize, prioritize uh, building out the rig first before I do any of that stuff. And before I build out the rig, I want to build out my real car. So. <laughs> That's that's the order of operations right now. But once we hit the fall, I think the rig's gonna start improving a lot, and I'll probably start streaming and just doing more videos in here. So I've been playing a lot of the Saddle Forza uh, in my free time, which has been good. Should 
taken a wider turn there. Oh, that sounds kind of crackly a little bit. There we go, dude. I love the fuzzy dice physics, dude. This is great. I love it. I love seeing them just jiggle up there. It makes me just so happy with myself. I'm, I, yeah, I guess I'm really going to get some fuzzy dice for the golf. I found a place nearby that uh, does window tent, so I think... I think we're about to we're about to see some more golf videos in the future uh, when I get the the, the dosh because the goal is by the end of the summer to uh, have some window tint uh, we're gonna have some uh, what am I saying oh yeah window tent I want to wrap the roof and then I want to get mud flaps and I want to do the exhaust that's the goal for the summer and then in the fall, I would just, all I want to do is the Cobb access port. I don't know why I'm going so slow. So, that's, those are the goals right there. And then in the fall, I think we're gonna focus a lot more on uh, just the, the sim rig in general. But the sim rig stuff, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up um, doing it all, filming it, and then releasing it once I'm done. But we'll have to see. I have to figure that out. I like, I'm the type of guy who really likes surprising people. I don't know how many other people out there like sur surprising people, but like that's like my goal in life is to surprise as many people as possible. So that's, that's also part of the reason why I don't upload. <laughs> as often as I should because I uh I like when I was at when I was at least editing all the videos now I don't edit some of the videos which is actually very helpful but before before that um I really just liked the idea of like putting out a final product but I suck at editing stuff so I don't know I don't know why I was so so ingrained in that the idea is that uh in the future I'll have an editor uh, that's, if I ever start making money on this, that's probably the first thing I'm doing is uh, hiring an editor because I fucking suck at it. All right, we should be able to go, get up to 55. I feel like I'm getting weird pops from the uh, the audio mod, so that's exciting. I had some uh, topics written down that I wanted to talk about during this. Because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know what, I'll prepare, I'll write some topics, we can all talk about stuff. And then I just, like, not that I didn't forget them, like, I wrote them down, but they're on my phone, which is the camera. <laughs> so I can't look at them. I don't know why I didn't write them down literally anywhere else. <laughs> I could have had them on a screen right here, it would have been great. But I do remember at least one of them, so that's good. Um, and I think I've talked about it before, but... I wanted to start, at some, well, when I started the channel, I wanted to do um, videos where I just, like, surfed the internet for, like, different stuff, because there's a lot of times where I'm sitting there, and I'm just, like, I'm just surfing. I'm just surfing the internet, and I'm just, like, investigating shit for, like, two hours. It's shit that doesn't, like, involve anything. It's not, like, a project I'm doing. It's nothing. But I, I, th I think I need to pivot. When I, I, I gotta start doing more guitar stuff. And this is gonna this is confusing. So I gotta start doing more guitar stuff because then I'll start like videoing the shopping of the guitar mods, so you guys can see the process behind that. And then maybe I can once I kind of get that part down, so it's like a, a tinier part of a video. Once I get that part down, I can see if it's worthwhile to make it a full video. So that's kind of the the life I'm I'm planning on leading right now. We're stuck on cruise control, we're chilling. So, yeah, but yeah, one of the, um, one of the initial videos I was gonna make was, uh, a video on the, uh, dead bodies on Mount Everest. I don't think I can do that video, um, just because kind of the, the whole, like, point of the video would to be, like, to highlight pictures and look at stuff on the internet about it and literally doing like YouTube searches of dead bodies or like 
you know, just like stuff on dead bodies on YouTube is prob probably not a good idea. <laughs> I feel like that's not going to uh, help my channel at all. So we're going to hold off on that video. Maybe in the future, you know, maybe I can get something that it works for me uh, in that regards. But for right now, I don't think the dead body video is coming out. But I do want to talk about it right now. Um, Stay left. Well, I, I, uh, and I did actually film one of these internet videos as well. I filmed one where I was cleaning out my Twitter. Because uh, I thought I was going to have some like really spicy tweets on Twitter that I'd have to go over and delete before I started a channel. But it turns out I didn't have a whole lot of spicy tweets on Twitter. And I'm not as cancelable as I thought I was. So that's pretty exciting. But... But yeah, for uh, the you know the dead bodies on Mount Everest, I suggest that you, if, if you find it curious, <laughs> uh, if you if, if this topic sounds interesting for you, you should look more into it because it's definitely a fun research, uh, just like little side thing to look into. And it's just like uh, when you die on Mount Everest, right? Uh, it you know oxygen up there is scarce. It takes a, a lot of effort to do very basic minimal stuff. So, you know, a lot of people die up there because even if they're dying, like, you can't... Like, if someone's going to walk past you and see you dying, they can't rescue you. They don't... Like, they'll die if they try to rescue you. It's it's like scuba diving. If you get trapped in a cave, uh, as, you know, if there's a guy with you, he's better off just leaving you there because he could die trying to save you. Stay right. Um, it's right. kind of like those kids that, uh, that were stuck in that cave that Elon Musk called a pedophile. Uh... That guy. Oh, we have to skip this exit because it's fun. But um, uh, yeah, I was really uh, really interested in it. I, I guess I found it out a couple of years ago, and sometimes I dive into the research on it. But uh, basically, you know, you like I said, it's very easy to die on Mount Everest. Uh, it's very easy for you to get left there because a body reconnaissance mission on Mount Everest is not very very beneficial to anyone except for the the family maybe Stay right. and even at that point Stay like right. more people might die just trying to recover your body so it's not really worth it uh they usually do recover bodies that are like close to the peak uh from what I, what i've heard uh that's just because uh a lot of people take pictures on the peak and they want to keep it clean up there so for, from what i've heard um but basically, the whole uh, the whole shindig is that there's dead body like well, you know it's so cold that when you die your body just stays just like frozen solid frigid and it just preserves naturally so like when you die you you die <laughs> and you just look the same as you did when you die and it's like fucked up because there's bodies that are up there that are like literally 50 years old and they look literally exactly the same. Um, I started looking into it because of, uh, there's a certain dead body on there that they call Green Boots. Um, and Green Boots is special because he, uh, he's some guy that is unidentified. He has a very, very close, like, potential, uh, match to who he probably is, but for the most part, he's unknown. But he died in this cave. Uh, and, and he just, his body became a landmark because, and his boots were like bright green, so everyone just calls him, called him Green Boots, because they didn't have a name for him, and he just became this like absolute landmark, so like, when you went to, like, to Green Boots, he was like marked on maps, and uh, just the idea of like, you dying and becoming, like, your body just becomes a, just a landmark, like not... Like, you know, when you die, you become an inanimate object. But then, it's just like, it, I guess it brings it in home when it's like, oh shit, uh, you're so much of an inanimate object that you're literally like a point of interest on a map. And your body is just so much there. And and a lot of people didn't know who he was. He could have been this one guy that got lost on a trip. And a lot of people, uh, you know, people that knew the guy said, oh yeah, he definitely had boots like that. Uh, and and he just he appeared sometime I think in the early 80s I want to say uh, if I remember correctly uh, and then there's a couple guys before that um, there's a guy who went snowboarding on the mountain uh, his body's not found but uh, he should just be on the mountain somewhere frozen with a snowboard so 
Uh, there's also a valley. I forget, I think they call it the Rainbow Valley because um, there's like a ton of uh, you know people from like the 80s and 90s with super bright colored like snow gear on, and it just looks like a rainbow because a whole bunch of people are just laying dead there. So it's just fucked up. It's a weird fucked up thing to research, but you just like some morbid curiosity. It's not like if you look at any of the photos, um, pretty much none of them are like perfectly graphic. It just looks like people laying on the ground. Um, so, and then I watched this one documentary about this Canadian lady who tried to summit the mountain. Uh, and she had no no training, no skills, and she hired like a, the world's worst fucking guide up the mountain because uh, he was cheap. Because it, it costs like ten thousand bucks to get there, uh, and that's like cheap cheapo mode. So you know uh, you can't really go cheap when you're risking your life like that. But she did, and she died on the on the top. They did recover her body, I believe, uh, mostly because she uh, was she you know she was at the peak. And I, I watched like a little documentary on, on her on YouTube, so that was exciting. So we're gonna stop with the the dead body talk, <laughs> but that's uh so that's that's you know if you feel interested, you should definitely look into it. It's a weird little weird little side of the internet. So, and there's even videos of some of the bodies, and it's, it's just, it's weird. It's just weird. <laughs> so, but it, it's, it's something, it's something, uh, it's something weird to research that's just, like, very curious. That, and another thing I, I like to research sometimes is, um, a lot of, like, very old and, you know, no, noteworthy paintings will have, um, sketches underneath them, and so when they x-ray the paintings, they'll find, like, a sketch. And there's been a couple paintings where it's like, oh, I know that painting. And they're like, yeah, we x-rayed it and found out that uh, initially it was painted differently. Uh, because maybe this person that is depicted as actually was supposed to be someone that this guy knew. And he uh, realized that he had like a bad relationship with them. So he, he removed them from the painting. And just like stuff like that. Or it's like, oh, the, the, originally this painting was literally another painting. And it just didn't sell well. So he just painted over it. Stuff like that happens all the time. And then, like, you know, like, sketches. Like, I, my favorite one was, um, there was a painting of a guy next to a tree, and he's just holding a sword. He's leaning against the tree holding a sword. And he, uh, they scanned the painting or something like that, and they found that it was initially a woman that he was holding and not a sword. So I may be getting some details on that one wrong. I don't even remember the painting's name, so... That was fun to read a book. Well, and then recently I've been watching a lot of documentaries on fake paintings. I found this really cool one on Netflix. Uh, I forget what it's called. But it's about how this lady, she just, just an idiot, I guess. And she was like running like an art dealership. She was like an art curator for like an art dealer uh, in New York that was like owned by a really rich guy or something like that. And she just bought a whole shit ton of fake paintings from this lady who was very obviously selling fake paintings. And she passed them off as real, and they, uh, like she ended up being embroiled, embroiled in this whole thing, and then only, basically only one person got jail time, which is fucked up. So that was exciting to, <laughs> to, to, to learn and listen about, but, so I, I recommend that one, I forget what it's called. But it's, it's just about, if you just search fake paintings on uh, Netflix, I'm sure you'll find it. But Netflix's search algorithm is pretty insane. The way Netflix parses results is sometimes better than like how Google handles results. So strange. Because sometimes, I don't know if you guys ever do this. Uh, you know, you'll be looking for a movie, be like, ah, is that on Netflix? You'll just log in Netflix real quick, type in the movie name, and then they're like, nah, we don't have that movie. But this actor's also in this movie, and so they recommend you that movie, and you're like, oh. That's sick. So that's that's a, that's a thing. Their alg algorithm is pretty exciting, pretty fun, pretty hype tested. Oops, I fucked with the camera up. It's okay, I unfucked it, so we're good. <laughs> Vibing all the way to Los Angeles, boys. I'm uh, gonna meet up at Adrian's kickback. We're, uh, oh, I was gonna say we're going slow, but we're not really going all that slow. Just, uh, you know, your gear that I didn't need to be in. 
I'll have to make a mod list and put it in the description. That's what I like to do when I uh, make mods. Or not make mods, add mods to a game. <laughs> Let's go straight. Let's go all the way straight, boys. Oh, I fucked that up. Ah, shit. I, need, I really do need to get one of those shifters. Oh, yes, dude. Rub it all the way out. <laughs> the other semi-truck in front of me is just like, peace. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's the worst when you're, uh... When you come up to a light and then it turns green right as you come up to it, oh man, it's it's worse than just the light just being red from the get go. Okay, let's start for a second this time. I feel like that's probably where we're ready to be. Ooh, can we idle forward in a second? Is it possible? Or are we gonna stall? Oh, we're doing it. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, we're slipping that clutch all the way up. Oh, baby, look at that. That's right, I'm a professional truck driver. My friend knows that to be true. I don't actually drive trucks professionally, I drive nothing professionally. <laughs> button like the center like button you press to, to honk because uh that's honestly important to me <laughs> but it's and from what i'm reading it's actually kind of difficult it's just because the all steering wheels don't support horn buttons it's just not not a thing uh well at least for the wheel bases the wheel bases don't so you gotta like buy a usb controller and it's a whole fucking thing and we're gonna do it this way because i'm lazy a little bit There we go. I was reading a, um, I was, no, I was not reading, I was watching a YouTube video on, on one of the, you know, the, the truck shifters for Euro Truck, so you can switch gears actually correctly, and, I, and they're describing, like, how the shifting works, and I was like, that makes a lot more sense than how my brain thought it worked. Oh, did I hit the wall install, or did I just go too slow? So many, so many, so many options. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. I saw this one guy who built, like, this whole, uh, rig where it was just, like, he, like, had the whole dash and everything, and I was like, damn, that's kind of, that's a lot. That's a lot to go, that's a lot to go through. Oh, hold on. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Are we gonna get in the thing? No, we gotta do more of this. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. It's always nice to just reverse. I gotta pull more forward so I can straighten out the trailer. Maybe I'm too too far over to the right. That could be it. Oh no, we're good. We're, we're chilling. Sweet, let's go. Okay, my daily water, boys. Uh. I was reading about that Adrian's kickback thing, dude. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Some guy on a uh, TikTok was um uh he was like oh it's my birthday and i wanna what did he say he was like it's my birthday and i want to have some boys to hang out with me at huntington beach and i want to go and, and put it on twitter or on, on tiktok and he like put a video up and he was like hey come come to my uh kickback remember what he called it because like I guess that's what the young people are calling it these days. I feel, you know, even though I'm not old at all, I'm young. <laughs> I feel like an old person. 
<laughs> sometimes because some new shit comes out of high school every two minutes and I'm like what the fuck are these high schoolers doing dude and I'm like I like I feel like my version of high school is a, is just like an outdated vintage idea these days I think on the map that's a shop that we can purchase so let's see if that's possible I would like to have a shop in Los Angeles City of Angels, what they call it. City of uh, Murderers. Oh, and, and the city of um, sexual assault, probably, right? I feel like New York and Los Angeles are pretty, uh, pretty good on sexual assault. By good, I mean they have too much. <laughs> It's just because they're huge cities. Some people are. People are shitty. I wonder if it's uh, ever possible to get like sexual assault down to like never happens, not happening, but type type deals. You know, I'm not too sure if that's uh, just a possibility. People fucking suck so much. Watched the new uh, Technology Connections video. That was pretty hype. Uh, he uh, was talking about how American wires are fucking stupid. And I was like, huh, they are stupid. Because <laughs> I, uh, you can, um, you can buy uh, extension cords that can cause electrical fires. Then he's like, uh, he's like, the only reason we don't cause more electrical fires as is is because uh, we're just all afraid of extension cords because. That's what we were taught. And I was like, huh. This looks like a place I can purchase. How much do you think it is? I mean, it's in Los Angeles. It's probably pretty expensive. Oh, okay. We're buying it. Yeah, I'm having it. Boom, we got it. We have it. It's ours. So we can get more trucks now. So now that we have a second truck headquarters. I think two more trucks are in order. There might be a better value property here, but I don't I don't have time to look. Can I get gas in my uh in my property here? Is that is that not happening? Ooh, there's speakers in here. A uh, big ol' engine. Just chillin'. manage the garage let's see what's up here okay so we have sweet sweet so basically that I guess the idea right is that that's me that's me I'm, a, I'm attached to that tiny and then small huh should I move myself or or I can upgrade the garage and I can add slots. How much does that cost? 108,000. Okay, I see. Ooh, and then I can instant fast travel as well. Okay, so that makes my life a little bit easier. So I guess we want like a lot of garages dotting across the country. And then we want to buy more trucks and then we can hire drivers to use the trucks. I think the next truck we do is going to be garbage truck where we just fill it with trash and garbage. So let's do another job, because I feel like one job and uh, looking at my cabin 6,000 times is probably not enough progress to make my life better in this game, so let's just fucking do it. One of these days I'm going to be doing long 8-hour eight, eight ass streams, and you guys are going to be like, damn, that guy's legit. Just trust me on that one. Um... I'm looking at the uh, <laughs> at OBS. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Cause my brain just like farted. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Uh, what what the fuck are we doing right now? What's the what's the plan? What's the what's happening? There we go. Break market. Did I seriously talk about dead bodies for an hour? I feel like that's what I did. Is I just talked about dead bodies for a whole ass hour. Okay, though. 
Ooh, I kind of want to travel to Ehrenberg. You know? Yeah, let's take this. Motor. What's the $6,000. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. I'm a big fan of this guy. He's my homie. Oh, do we need more gas? We should probably get gas on the way there. Oh yeah, I was looking to see if I could get gas in my thing, and I can't. Or at least we're not tired, so that's good. Hopefully, uh... We can upgrade some of the tiredness. Oh yeah, we can um get rid of the yawn. There's a couple mods that just remove the yawn and turn it into like a chime. That sounds like something I want to do. Let's go. Let's slide on over. Let's get right out of here. like insane how like these gears do essentially nothing <laughs> there we go oh yeah we bogged it a little bit maybe i should start in sixth go straight we will be definitely going straight oh actually we will not be so we gotta get some gasoline. -y. Gasoline -y from Panini. Touch my balls and my weenie. That was a fucking good song, by the way, guys. You guys need to subscribe for that one. Boom. Stop the old engine. And then that parking brake. Fill her up. I saw a mod that makes the gas prices um, equal to what they are in real life. And I was like, that sounds like hell. So... I don't want to do that. Damn, dude, 122 gallons. Imagine paying $400 just to fill up your truck, dude. I would not be able to be a trucker. I would be like, damn, it's just too much fucking money. Go to first, you're off. Uh, and then we want to do that shit. We should good. One to six is a pretty good, uh, pretty good jump. When we're out here in raw, that's the hardest part is the, the the shifting of it. I feel like I've played so much this game and I'm still so bad at it. You know, this is how it was when I was playing like Guitar Hero when I was a kid. I was just so shitty at it, and I was just like, I just kept playing it. Probably put like. I had like a hundred hours in that game. I was just shit right. the whole time. Never once was good. We're making this turn. And we're powering through. Yeehaw, motherfucker! Okay, we're gonna calm down. 16th here. Uh, and then when I was in high school, I was like, oh wait, I can uh, I can just be good at Rock Band and Guitar Hero, and I put a lot of time and effort into being good at it. I remember learning the orange and the blue button were, were just like a new Go thing straight. for me. And I like developed this way to wrap my fingers around so there was a finger attached to each button. Like I had my thumb on the green and then all the other fingers lined up with everything else. And it was, it was a weird way to do it, but it worked. And it worked very well. Go straight. Now if I did it, I probably would end up moving my fingers up and down the neck. But maybe not, because that's just not really a thing that you should have to do. I don't know. Oh, God, everybody. God in heaven. There we go. I'm going. Yeah, I don't give a shit if it costs me $700. It just cost me $400 to fill my gas tank. You think I give one shit? I don't. 
As long as I don't crash my truck, we're good. First time I played uh, Euro Truck Simulator, I was playing with a controller, and I just crashed the absolute shit out of my semi truck, and uh, and I had like no dollars because I was just fresh at the game, and I was like, damn, this fucking sucks. <laughs> like a YouTube video on how to like actually truck truck but you know you know how it is <laughs> this is how, like this is how it was oh fuck before I started watching YouTube videos on how to do manual when I had this set up and I was like uh -uh, I guess this is how you do it and I was I was kind of close but I was I wasn't close enough to where like the real driving stick was but now I do really drive stick so you know kind of I'm kind of the coolest guy you guys know A lot of people are really curious about it when they see, and they're like, oh, I want to learn. And I'm like, yeah, you got to go get your own car there, bud. I'm like, I'm just going to give you my car for free 99. Ugh. We're not even at the fucking trailer yet. This is all just fucking city driving, dude. This is what it's like to be in Los Angeles. The city of dickheads. Oh, that's cool. A little Jeep towing a, a side by side? That's, that's exciting. Do they call them side by sides? What do they call them? You know, like can ands? I think they're side by side, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I might make like a generic thumbnail for live stream. I've been thinking about it more. I think last live stream I, I said I wasn't going to, but I've been thinking about it a lot more. I might make like a generic one that I can just kind of pop on at all times. That'd be pretty pretty hype. I don't want to like have to make one before every live stream because that just adds like an extra like ten minutes onto setting up the live stream, and that just like if there's ten more minutes into setting up the live stream process, then that's like a, a significant chance that I'm not gonna fucking do it. <laughs> like it's already right. Like I've had to streamline some of the process to setting all this garbage up, and. Um, like, with my new, like, streamlined stuff, it makes it a lot easier to set it up, but it also is, just like, it, it, it makes me want to live stream more because I know it's easier, and if it was just, like, as easy as just clicking one button, everything's done for me, and I don't have to set a title and do anything, that would be the ideal solution, but that's not going to happen, but that would be the ideal solution. <laughs> now that's why I would like to uh, at least get a powerful enough... Uh, GPU to where and CPU where I can just stream all on, on the computer that I'm playing the game on <laughs> would make everything a hell of a lot easier. We're gonna have to sleep halfway through this journey, I think. Get ready to turn right. So we'll just kind of go until we're tired and see what's up. Or do we sleep less if we're not tired? Or like, what's the? What do you guys think is the situation with that one? It was a nice ride. It was a nice ride. Thank you, Doug. His name is Doug. Oh, shit. Well. I just need to edge forward in 10th. Let's go. I didn't need to be in 10th, but I was in 10th. Oh, man. I gotta go pee. Always gotta go pee. Time man. to hit the road. This is definitely the last job we're doing today. Which kind of, sounds kind of sad because I do like no jobs today, but this is what this is how life is, okay? This is the life of a trucker. It's nice that I can just like log out. I'm sure real truckers that 
are just like upset with people who play this game and don't actually truck. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple guys. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, you know, real real truckers are probably like I don't give a shit. It's like, it's like I play guitar, but I don't really give a shit about people who play rock bands. I don't even think about it to be honest. <laughs> Well, at least with, like, real guitar, you can, like, guitar at home, just casually, whatever you want, kind of. But, like, with real trucking, as, uh, compared to this, you can't really just, you know, if you like trucking just because it's fun, you can't really, uh, you can't really truck, like, at home other than this. So, maybe, maybe real truckers do play this if they're really into it. I feel like the, the wife of, like, a trucker would be upset if like you came home after your like month assignment, because truckers go out like for a, a while, they go out for like months and, or like sometimes they go out for like a week. Time to get the uh, job done. And I'd just be, I'd be pissed if like my girlfriend was like gone for like a month and then came home and it was like I'm gonna play the video game with the thing I was just doing. Haha, <laughs> funny. I'd be like, you don't wanna like do anything else, literally. <laughs> but that's just me. And I, I would be pissed if I was a girl and it was the boyfriend as well. That I wasn't trying to. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not trying to be a uh, controlling asset in a relationship. <laughs> but maybe, maybe they hang out with their their. I know some wives and uh, you know boyfriends and stuff hang out with their significant other while they truck. Like they do. Like like sometimes there's duos because trucking brings home a lot of money. So sometimes the other spouse won't have to have a job or bogging. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. You know I've been really into right now is uh. Just, a, just doing an electric manual car, just you, like an EV conversion. It's so fucking cool that you can just make you, any car electric. I've been watching Rich Rebuild's uh, Mini Cooper series where he literally buys like a $200 DC motor and it makes like 180 horsepower at, at the crank, not at the, not at the uh, wheels. But it's still like, that's all, enough horsepower to a power his Mini Cooper, and he just mates it up to his transmission using this, like, really cheap, nice little thing he just welds on, and I was like, that's pretty sick. Uh, and then you can, you can make it so you're, uh, it's a manual, which is nice, and you don't have to, you can just delete the clutch, which is also cool. So I'd love to do a, uh, an EV Fiero, I think, is what I'd want to do buy some busted, crusted, and fucked Fiero. Preferably a GT, because they look cooler. But, you know, if I got, like, a normal one for, like, 500 buck range, I mean, not during COVID pricing, but, you know, past COVID, when shit's, like, kind of evened out. You know, because COVID's coming to an end right now, which is good. But, you know, when everything's kind of evened out in, like, a year, I'd probably start... I'd just be, like, casually browsing the market, looking for Fieros that... Because sometimes they come up as, like, project cars that people didn't finish. And I think once people start going back to work and school a lot more, I think the, a lot of the projects everyone was doing are going to end up on the on the used market. Uh, at least for cars. Because cars projects, just take, they take so long. you got to have so many tools. But, yeah, I'd pick, I'd pick some just, like, just crusty. I'm just... As long as, like, that, that engine's blown Fiero, buy that... Uh, as long as the transmission good, I'd probably buy. Stay I don't. I don't know if they make rebuild kits for the Fiero transmissions or how much they cost, but I'd do a rebuild kit on the on the Fiero transmission. I don't know what that that noise was, but yeah, I'd I'd rebuild the the transmission, connect it to a DC motor, chuck some battery packs all around, and just be good with it. It'd be nice to have. I would also I would have it set so the, that the clutch. Um, because a lot of people when they do the, the clutch del delete, they uh, either they'll set the gear when they're driving or like when they come to a stop so that the, you know the motor's not moving so you don't you know fuck up the transmission, or they'll just like rev match, which I don't really want to rev match. So I'd probably just set the clutch to just be like a kill 
for the uh, the electric motor. So it would just kill the motor for just momentarily as I switch gears and then, you know, back on it. Which is essentially what the uh, what a real clutch mimics. Except you can't really downshift, so I, I have to figure that part out. <laughs> maybe just not even doing a clutch shift. Maybe just keep it. I'm, I have to look into it, you know, or like how, how the electric motor interacts with a tr uh, manual transmission. All I know is that I want to get a manual Fura and delete the engine and make it electric. Because I think it'd just be so sick. Then I just put in like a nice. Uh, radio. I'd probably do one of those, either a Raspberry Pi radio build, where you get the double din, uh, like touchscreen, or I'd probably do a, a Android tablet radio build, where you buy an Android tablet and just flash like the radio uh, software to it. I think a lot of people use Kindles for it. I, I would just look into what the most common one is, so that I'd have the least amount of problems. <laughs> and I just do that. I have it all nice. And then I'd probably add like an extra little gauge in the corner that tells me like, uh, you know, like charging and stuff. And I keep everything else as, you know, pretty OEM. Uh, Alright, it's 55, okay. So that's my EV dream. That and uh, I would also do a, a DeLorean EV would be but those are kind of a lot harder to find with like blown engines because people who have them don't drop, don't let them go for anything. And even blown, it's still worth it to pick them up and remanufacture the engine. So, but if there's one that just had, you know, chucked a million rods, I'd, I'd pick it up for. Again, it had to be super duper cheap though. And even like blown DeLoreans are like ten thousand bucks. So it's kind of wild, wild west out there. Which is why the Fiero is the poor man's DeLorean. It's still equally as cool. <laughs> I want the GT one because I wanna, I would wanna kind of semi recreate the one that Jesse drives in the El Camino movie. Uh, not, not because of a fandom love for that movie. It's just because that's a sick Fiero, dude. He's got it in like the gold color and it's got the all black interior. If I remember, that's that's a way to go, man. That's the dream, at least. That's the dream. There's other EV conversions you can do, like like Rich Rebuilds at the Mini Cooper, um, which would definitely give you more range than Fiero, because you have to pack so many batteries in the Fiero, the range is probably going to be pretty bad. But I wouldn't mind. Because, like, I don't really care so much about the... There we go. About the range in the Fiero, because it's not like I'm going to be daily driving it. And where I drive it, it's just going to be like to and fro, and then back home. <laughs> I feel like I drive it enough, though. I have to see. I'd PPF it and, like, paint correct it and shit. Get it, like, all, make it make it as, like, as premium and, like, as, as protective as the paint as I could be in the underside. Uh, and, you know, in Ohio, your underside of your car is going to rust out fucking hell. That's just how this is how shit works. But I think we're gonna take a sleep right up here actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna sleep up here. Oops, oops. Oops. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Goodness me. Oh man. I don't think I'm supposed to go over here. I don't think this this area is for me. <laughs> Does the bus really come and pick people up here? That's kind of crazy. We've done half the journey already, and I, we, I feel like I've done nothing. I don't know. We're just trying to go to sleep, brother. I see the sleepy spot right here. I know a spot. A restful location, as Daryl said in the office. Let's find a As you do, Finding just go up the office right here. Me and Emma finally finished it, which is exciting. So she, she was hyped about that. Uh, and then we uh, did the first season again. 
or not again, because, so she, like, we started watching, and she was, like, just, like, watch, I, th I thought she had already seen it, because she said she did, uh, but she, like, hadn't really seen it, it's like, when you're a kid, and you're like, yeah, I've seen Avatar, but you haven't really seen Avatar, um, and, and then, then you watch Avatar all the way through, because I just picked a random Office episode to watch, because the Office is really fun to watch, I guess, asymmetrically, is the way you'd say it. Also, we're late now for the job, according to the music, so that's pretty good. Whoa, a little bit harder this time. But yeah, we finished it up, but then you know, I think we started in, in like season two or three when we started watching, uh, and we just didn't go back to the first episode because we had already finished the season when she was like, "Oh, I actually want to keep watching in order," uh, and I was like, "Oh, you're you haven't like seen it?" And she's like, "No, not really." And I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so now we're going back to season one so she can see season one, and then we're gonna do season two. And then I'm going to try to coerce her into watching Bojack Horseman. That's the idea, at least. See, now we're speeding. We're going 20 over. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. I don't really mind, though. I think we're making 6000 on this job. So as long as the ticket isn't for $6,000, I'll be fine. around this guy this isn't speed trucking like I did last time where I'm just neglecting all the rules wow dude the rear view mirror looked like a real rear view mirror when we passed that truck that's fucked up that is fucked up I see cops I gotta slow down a little bit alright we're good they ain't gonna get me they're busy Yeah, I've been looking at some, uh, the AI driver mods and some improved traffic mods, but I think I'm going to hold off on those. They look a little bit more involved. A lot of mods I got to get, though. Uh, we can definitely see better at night now, though. Uh, it's like dead of night. Yeah, it's 2 in the morning. Should be pretty dark, but I can see pretty well. I don't know how about you guys. It looks like you guys can see okay-ish. Not as well as I can see, but... Still better than it was before. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm not gonna get pulled over. I don't. I don't believe I will. I think we'll be fine. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. There we go. I saw a mod for traffic density. Um, but I think, uh, our, like, the traffic density that's in the game is pretty accurate from what I've experienced. But I'm not too sure, you know. I mean, Los Angeles could be jam-packed, and then the, the mod description said, like, oh, be prepared to be stuck at lights for a long time. I was like, that sounds like the worst thing ever. I don't know what the, I don't, I couldn't hear what the fucking GPS guy said, because I'm, uh, too busy speed trucking. Oh, is this a way station? Bitch. Yeah, I want to get the one shifter head that has the extra button, because then a lot of people use that for their Jake brake button. It sounds pretty pimp, to be honest. Wait. Ah, shoot. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this like background music just means I'm late for the job, I'm pretty sure. Two hours away, so that's that's at least good. There we go. We're flying away, and we're making it happen. I'm making sure I get every ounce out of these gears. Fucking Jeep Cherokee just passes the shit out of me. There's that one Jeep. I think it's a 90s uh, Jeep Liberty or something. I don't know what, which one it is. Or maybe it's just like a 90s hardtop Wrangler or something. I really like those ones. Those are so cool looking. At some point, I need to get a truck as well in real life. I should. That should probably be my my like next vehicle purchase. <laughs> a truck so I can buy all the other random 80s vehicles I want. I think it'd be really cool to also get uh, a Celica GTS at some point. I really like those Celicas. I know most people hate them, but I like them. So I'm a I'm a big Toyota fan. I drove a Lexus. What can I say? You know. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the Celicas are cool, especially like the. I mean, I, I don't know what the... I think the pre-faceless ones are the better looking ones, but I'd have to refresh my mind on it. But I, I've seen a couple that are, like, done really nice, where, like, one was all black, it was nice and lowered, sounded good when the guy started it up. So I think there's stuff like that that's, that's worth it. We're only an hour away. so fucking fast. Uh, it's 114 and it says we're an hour and 15 minutes away so we should be there at uh, 2. 215. No wait 230. We should be there at 230. So let's see if we're faster than the estimated time. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. I think we're about to pretty soon though. The game usually doesn't like you speeding for long periods of time. Oh, we're, we're going for it. We're gunning. It's happening. Definitely a lot easier to see at night now. Cut that guy right the fuck off. We're gonna keep on going. Oh, that, oh, he moved out of my way. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. I gotta move out of this guy's way. We can't fucking do that. Alright, we're 44 minutes away. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, well, that's pins. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised how the truck still has a transmission. <laughs> no magic. Just... What? That was weird. I was reading the billboard. It said no magic, just sants. I don't know what that meant. There we go. 28 minutes away. Looks like we're not gonna beat the estimate. Maybe the estimate scales with how fast I'm driving. I know Google uh, Google Maps scales with your driving. Because if you uh, drive fast enough, you'll see like five minutes drop off your estimated time. Definitely had that happen before. It's kind of fun. We're gonna exit pretty soon, so we gotta get over in the right lane. Yep, I was correct. We are exiting. Exiting for a, in a second. This guy's going hella slow, though. It's 
fun here in the Jake break. I'm pretty excited about that. There we go. Fuzzy dice was definitely a good idea. I wonder if the numbers facing you change depending on like your instance. Probably not. It probably we're, always, we're probably always gonna see two and six showing, but you know, it would be kind of cool. I might have to buy more dash toys. I think it'd be kind of sick to get more. I know the guy had more, I, and I I realize now that it, it's definitely worthwhile to get more. Double clutch like a little bitch, dude. Nope, nope. Man, I went straight to first, and that was not not what I went, meant to do. Because I clicked the button to change um, the uh, the level of gear. I forget what it's called now. Uh, and I just I just fucking hit the wrong one. safe again oh I, you know what let's just in a hurry it late yeah we are late how late oh we're four we were four hours late that's what happens when you take a sleepy in the middle of the gym all good though all right oh, let's save the old game save the old game boom all right pop over here all right, so with that being said, thanks you guys for watching. Um, you know, I'll be here next week streaming. Fucking, there's no specific time, just next weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe. Hit the like button if you want to like. If you have any comments, any suggestions, any mods you want me to take a look at, you know, stuff like that. I, I do see all, all the comments whenever I upload and I switch to the account. I see, I'll see all the notifications, so... I will 100% read your comment. Even if you do it like a year after I post the video, I will read your comment. So, <laughs> with that being said, you know, thanks, thanks for watching. I've been having fun. I hope you guys have been having fun. I've been the Vaughn. I'll see you guys later.